more hell they put on them, okay, coming with that crap and counsel, they will grieve because Israel was multiplying, okay? They were multiplying. So Israel became a strong nation in Egypt, man. Okay? Even in, even in bondage, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is uh, verse 13. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in, and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. So when you deal with that, that shows you who built the pyramid. When you go on the history channel, they'll say it's alien. They don't know how they done it. Good, good, good. Okay? It just goes to show you how much how much they hate the scriptures. And the so-called and they try to downplay the scriptures. Gun. And the so-called uh the so-called stickers, they just magically disappeared, man. They just disappeared off the yeah. face of the earth. Man. They don't exist no They don't exist no more. Yeah, according to Esau. According to Esau. In their history channel. <laughs> but we don't know what language they're speaking. <laughs> That's how they get that. Yeah, See? Yeah. But but dealing with that, dealing with that right there, that shows you how Israel uh, built them pyramids in bondage. Now, dealing with Issachar, okay, which are the so-called Mexicans, contrary to pop belief, and you people out there that say that the Mexicans are not Israelites, you lack understanding, your eyes are not open, okay? That's your problem. And it's some in you, okay? It's some in you, which I know what it is. It's, uh, it's, you know what I'm saying, Isaiah 11, 11. But I know what it is, Isaiah 11, 11. But, on down. But, for you ones that don't believe that, it's just some in you that the Heavenly Father uh, not allowing you to see, okay? That's just what it is, bottom line, man, because this thing is spiritual, man. Okay? You lack understanding, you don't know the history. You know, and pursuing uh, Isaiah 11, 11 on down, you're fulfilling that scripture, right? I know, I know a lot of it, you know what I'm saying, also is, uh, you know what I'm saying, they can't get past the, you know what I'm saying, their appearance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, get that, get that, uh, hold that. No, I get it, I get it. Isaiah, Isaiah 11 and 12, I get it, I get it. I said 11 on down, but, okay. you know what I'm saying, the key is in 12, I get it. But, uh, yeah, and when they were building them pyramids, let me see, uh, no, the key is in, uh, 13, sorry, the key is in 13, this is, uh, Isaiah 11 and, uh, 13, the envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. So in other words, Judah and Ephraim, okay, Judah is the southern kingdom, okay, and Ephraim is the northern kingdom, okay, the ten tribes. Within this brotherhood, through the spirit, they gonna come together and not hold each other back and not have that envy uh, amongst each other to where they can't uh, uh, embrace you, how about you, I shy together. Now, if you're not part of that, then uh, you're fulfilling a lot of being contrary to how about you, I was shot. Okay? Because the scriptures say uh, they're not going to be against each other like that. Now, you got Israelites that don't uh, believe that the Puerto Ricans all the way down to the Mexicans are Israelites then that's an issue you have with Yahweh Hashem Elishai that got you blinded, man. Okay? So that's what I wanted out of there. But like I said, the key is in 13. Okay? Isaiah 11 and 13. So the elected don't come together. Okay? They teach the right way. So, finish that, uh, read that one more time in uh, Exodus. Right, this is a uh, this is Exodus. Okay. Yeah. This is Exodus chapter one, verse 
14. And they and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and in mortar and in brick and in all matter of service in the field, all their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. Yeah. So this is the deal. This is the deal. That's why uh the pyramids over there in uh Egypt uh, are built the way they built because they were built in hardcore bondage. Now, when you look at the pyramids that's in Mexico, they not they built, you know what I'm saying, a little bit better because they wasn't built in hardcore bondage, man. But that lets you know, and that's a sign to let you know that Ithacar, the so called Mexican, the Aztecs, was in Egypt with the rest of the Israelites. Okay? That lets you know that, man. See that? And and, uh, and just like the brother was mentioned about the sun and the time, uh, when you deal with it, when you deal with that time, when you Google image, uh, when was a uh, when was a uh, watch created? They go back to the the origin of the watch. They go back to the 15th and the uh, 16th century, somewhere up in there. And that's a lie, man, because Israelites had sundials back then, man. So they knew how to tell the time, man. They had watches back then, man. So give me uh, Isaiah uh, 38 and uh, 8. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 38, verse 8. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees, mm -hmm. which is gone down in the sundial of a Ahaz. Right. So what it, when you deal with that sundial, that's a that's that's a, a like a, a a time clock. It tells time, man. Okay? And when you look up the word uh, dial, it means to step up. So they had watches back then. Okay? They knew how to tell time back then. But when you Google the origin of the watch, they mentioned the 15th, 16th century. So they lying, man. That's Esau lying again, man. Okay, they had sundials in the ancient world. They knew how to tell time in the ancient world. And Issachar them, when they built them pyramids, they uh, uh, they could tell time uh, based off the sundials that they had, man. Okay, dealing with them pyramids because they were set up a certain way, man. And get, finish that off, and then get a uh, Chronicles, uh, First Chronicles, twelve and thirty-two. It says ten degrees backward, so the sun returned ten degrees by which the degrees it was gone down. So what it is is when you go into that, uh, Isaiah pulled back the time, man, because of Hezekiah. When you go into it, you brothers can read it. But Isaiah uh, pulled back the time, man, okay? So even in the kingdom of heaven, you Edomites, you want to try to commit suicide, we're going to pull back time and put the spirit back in you, okay? <laughs> We gonna have that power. So when you deal with that, that was Isaiah pulling back the time, man. Okay, that's what he done, man. So give me uh, so we had clocks back then in the ancient world. They were called sundials. So give me uh, First Chronicles uh, 12 and 32. All right, this is uh, this is First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. It says, and of the children of Issachar, I'll read it again. This is uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the time. See, Issachar had the understanding of the time. They could read the heavens, man. They knew about time, man. Okay? They knew about it, man. And even Solomon knew about it. Go ahead. It says, uh, to know what Israel ought to do. Now, not to take nothing from Issachar. Okay, Issachar knew how to read the heavens. They knew about time. So not to take nothing from Issachar. They had that, that blessing, man. Yahweh Shemel Shah blessed them with that. And Issachar is good at math. Now, also, I would like to mention that Solomon had that understanding, too. When you read uh, 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 Wisdom of Solomon, 7 and 17, I want to say that's where it's at. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, 
chapter 7, verse 17. Go ahead. For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know how the world was made. See, how the world was made. Okay, so Solomon knew how everything was created. Okay, going back to Genesis, the first chapter. Go ahead. And the operation of the elements. So Solomon knew about the elements. See, Solomon knew about the elements before they had a periodic element chart. Okay? Solomon already knew. He had all that knowledge back in the ancient world. We're going to get it back, man. Okay? And we're going to know how to manipulate the elements. And, and uh, when we get in the kingdom, man. Go ahead. So verse 18. The beginning, ending, and, and midst of the times. The alterations of the turning of the sun and the change of seasons. So Solomon already knew, man. So, now, like I said, not to take none from Issachar, but Solomon knew too. Come, come, okay? Come. Issachar had that blessing, man. So the tribes knew, man. They had that understanding, man. Okay? Contrary to pop belief. So, read that again. All right, this is uh, going back to 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And, the, and of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. See that? So the Issacharites, which are the so-called, what you call the so-called, what you call the so-called Mexicans today, they knew how to read the heavens, man. They knew about time, man. They already had watches before the 15th and the 16th century, man. They already had them before them, man. Okay? They knew how to tell time, man. Okay? This knowledge that we got, man, this knowledge uh, that we got and that we lost, man, uh, Raise us above all these other nations, man. Okay? This knowledge and these commandments is what's going to be in the kingdom of heaven. And that's, and that's what we're going to do. Judge the earth with this knowledge, man. Okay? But it's going to be in our own part. So, even though he was talking to that Ithaca, right? And they could, he couldn't... Uh, uh, you seen in the spirit that it really wasn't for him. You know what I'm saying? But that's in the scriptures too. Give me that uh, in... Uh, Romans 11. All right. This is uh, this is Romans. Stop from time. Kind of, if you want to. Well, you start at verse. Have you rejected all Israel? Yeah, say 7,000, 7,000. Have the most high put away his people? God forbid. I am also an Israelite. You try to bend it. You get the first verse? It should be like the second. Start the second verse. Romans 11 and 2. Yeah, yeah. Romans 11 and 2. This is uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 2. The Most High had not cast away his people. See that? Which he. See, he had not cast away his people. When you look up that word cast away, it means reject. Go ahead. It says, uh, which he for knew what ye not, what ye not, what the scripture said of a liar. And uh, it says, uh, how he maketh intercession. intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, says, Lord, thy have killed thy prophets, and they have. They say, read it again. Thy, thy this is Romans chapter 11, verse 3. It says, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars. And I am left alone. Go ahead. And they seek my life. Go ahead. But what said the answer of the Most High unto them? I have reserved to himself, to myself, seven thousand men. Yeah, seven thousand men. So see that seven thousand men. So the Most High got seven thousand men preserved for this truth. Okay, with seven men completion. Go ahead. Who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So the heavenly father got 
Serapis Christus, okay? Okay? Which is idols. In a nutshell, they're dealing with idols. Okay? Baal is dealing with an idol. Alright, go ahead. It says, uh, verse 5, Even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. There is a remnant. So, according to the election of grace. Okay? So, the Most High had elected certain men, Israelites, who gonna have that divine influence of the mind to think upon Yahweh Bashim Shah and go into these scriptures and search them out once they hear this word. Go ahead. So verse six, and if by grace, then is, is it no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? So, in other words, to under, so you can understand this, Paul is talking about the law right there, dealing with works, okay? Because nobody can keep the law one percent we all fall short. So it's the grace of Yahweh Bashanah Shai that allows us to see this truth. Allows us to see this truth by our eye, by our, by our eye being open due to the sacrifice of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, right? With, with Yahweh Shai, which is his son, man. Right? Right, go ahead. It says, otherwise, work is no more work. So verse seven. What then? Question. Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. The knowledge of that grace, man. Okay? Because that grace got to be placed on you in order for you to be influenced to seek Yahweh Shinnah Shai. So not all Israel don't seek Yahweh Shinnah Shai and dive into the scriptures. That's, that's uh, what I've been saying. Uh, and that's basically, you know what I'm saying, what I was telling the elder, you know what I'm saying, of uh, me dealing with the Issacharite, is that he was mentioning certain things, you know what I'm saying, and I was mentioning certain things and he was agreeing it with, you know, he was agreeing with it. But as soon as I mentioned, like, man, let me, uh, let me prove it to you in the scriptures, it's like his eyes, you know what I'm saying, went wandering off and, and he didn't even want to hear it. Most I had a block. Gone, gone. Same way, with the, same way with the people that say the northern kingdom is not part of the 12 tribes. The most I got them blocked. Gone, gone. It just got them blocked, man. That's just what it is. I mean, we can make videos to prove to you, gone. which I have done that, but even if I make videos, the ones who not going to see it, not supposed to see it, they ain't going to get it, man. Okay. They're going to scoff at it because okay. they block. No matter what I bring out. Go ahead. It says, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Now, we finna, we finna go into these scriptures and look up the word obtained. It. So, the election, meaning the chosen, Okay, out of the nation of Israel, the elect out of the nation of Israel had went in these scriptures and hit the mark and searched it out and found out the truth. By the grace of Yahweh, Shah. Go ahead. Verse 20. Come, come, I mean. uh, yeah. That's what they do, man. They don't want they don't want the, the, the meaning of that word to come out, man. Come, look, look, look. Probably gonna cut the shit out of somebody. Excuse me, Frank, but it is what it is. I'll hit up Tane, right? Yeah. Then I'll jump the hat. Yeah. See that? I'll get I'll pull it off. Come, come. Yeah, probably gonna cut somebody, man. That's what that is. Somebody been saying that word means something else. And then when we look it up, it, it's gonna cut something. Satan trying to help 
Pressing on the word obtain. I know what it means. Word, it jumps off, you know what I'm It jumps to another word. You're dealing with the word mark. I know what it means. What verse is it? Uh, verse 7. Romans chapter 11. Verse 7. Obtain it. Okay. Uh, and it means to light or to hit upon any person or thing to attend, to obtain. Now we're going to go here. Uh, Strong's G5177. Strong's G5177. To Connell. And it's uh, to hit the mark. See that? This point, a point is charging a. Javelin or arrow. Yeah. So, let's say for instance, you got a, like a brother's read, read that again, a javelin or arrow. Okay. It says, uh, it says to hit the mark of one discharging a javelin or arrow. So, if you're throwing a javelin, boom, and you got a particular mark that you got to hit, you hit it with the javelin. Or you got an arrow that you shoot, okay, you hit that mark. So, that's the same way with the scriptures. The Most High put the Spirit on you, that grace on you, to go into these scriptures, and you hit the mark by what? Searching them out. And you find out what the world is teaching is contrary to the Heavenly Father and Son, and through faith you continue to believe and grow. Okay? See that? So, read that again. All right, this is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Question: Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. He hit the mark that he seeketh for. He ain't went in these scriptures and searched them out. The Most High ain't put that influence in his mind to go into the scriptures and search them out. That's why when he said certain things, he got away from it. Because the Most High didn't put the Spirit on him to do that. Kind of, as soon as I said anything about that, man, you know, what we're talking about, man, I can, I can prove it to you in the, in the scriptures. As soon as I started saying, as soon as I said scriptures, man, it's like his eyes started just wandering off, you know what I'm saying? And, and he was quick to leave, quick in a hurry, man. Yeah, yeah. And see, that same way with them guys that don't teach about uh, uh, the Latinos and the Native Americans being Israelite. They haven't, the most high haven't put it, on, put it in their spirit to search it out that they Israelites. He blocked them. Because it's something that the most high don't see fit for them to grab, okay? It's not meant for them to get it. So when they don't get it, they just start teaching contrary to it. All tribe, all all the tribes are black. Okay. That's, what they, that's what they run with, right? Because they limited on their understanding, and the most high ain't put that influence in their mind to seek out the truth. All they do is walk up against it. It is what it is. You know? And it's true what you're saying, you know, the spirit of God by some other side. The heavenly father's got to put up, you know, put the spirit on it. Actually, be able to search things out. Yeah, and then, and then you got to put spirit on you to, to actually go into the 12 tribe God, breakdown. But just every person ain't going into that, man. Come, come, come. Like nah. Remember the elder, you know, 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 you know,
You know what I'm saying? He was hitting me with stuff, man, that me, me being a so-called, you know, a so-called Mexican, you know what I'm saying? Man, I didn't even know myself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he was hitting me with stuff that I was like, man, you know? But, come, come. Yeah. But go ahead. All right. It says, uh, so. I'll continue on. Yeah. Uh, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the chosen out of the nation, because you got the nation of Israel, and you got a chosen that within the nation of Israel, okay, the elect. Like I said, Israel is the chosen, but you got a chosen that's within the nation of Israel that got that divine influence of the mind, okay, to go into these scriptures. But they're not blinded and they got understanding of it. So if you talk to a person that's blinded and you mention the scriptures, they ain't gonna go into these scriptures and search them out as if you would, the most high put that influence on you to search it out. It's not gonna, he's not gonna do it like you do it, okay? So when he was talking to the Israel right, that's why he had to walk off because that influence is not on him like that. You see, he didn't have, he didn't have that divine influence of the mind nor that faith, Come. okay? Because faith is granted by Yahweh by Shema was shot. And uh, give me Romans 10 and 17. Romans 10 and 17. All right, this is uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Go ahead. So then faith cometh by hearing, mm -hmm. and the hearing by the word of the Most High. All right, so you get to talk about them scriptures, okay? Or oh, reading scriptures and talking about them scriptures. If they don't got no faith, okay? They ain't gonna get into it. And then faith, and then when you hear this word, by you having that faith, it requires you to what? Read and search things out. That's when your faith start increasing. Okay? So give me that Ephesians 2 and 8. 